Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump right into this exposed mermaid look. The first thing I did, I took a little bit of Smashbox primer, applied it all over my face, and then I just went in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in shade Y425 and a Zoeva foundation brush and I'm just applying this all over my face I'm basically gonna do one half of my face normal and then I'm just grabbing my NARS creamy concealer and I'm applying that to all the areas that I usually highlight and I'm just gonna blend that out with a damp beauty blender once that's totally blended out I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to set the right side of my face And then I'm just grabbing my Makeup Forever pressed powder in shade 170 and I'm just going to set my entire face. Going in with a little bit of liquid latex and a disposable sponge, I'm just going to be applying the shape around my eye which is what I want to have that exposed look and then I'm just grabbing a little bit of tissue and I'm just splitting them in two because they're usually two ply and I'm just applying one layer of that and then I'm just gonna go back in and apply liquid latex over that same tissue and I'm repeating this process and applying about three layers of this product liquid latex is a little bit messy so just make sure that you don't use any of your brushes on it because they will ruin them which is why I was using a disposable sponge this is the second layer and I'm just applying a little bit more of liquid latex over that product then I'm just gonna go in with my NYX bronzer in deep tan and just contour the right side of my face a little bit while the latex was setting and then I'm just going in with my same foundation and that same disposable sponge the clean side and I'm just gonna start patting on my foundation to kind of make that look blended in with my skin then I'm just grabbing a palette knife just want to be careful obviously not to poke yourself in the eye and then I just started lifting those edges because I do want it to have that peeling skin look then I'm just going in lightly make sure you don't want to tear any of those edges because you do want them to look raised just along the edges but stay flat along the rest of the face and then I'm just grabbing a Makeup Addiction Cosmetics brush and a little bit of the NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base in white and I just want to fill that entire area with white before going in with product. Then I'm just going to grab a stocking cap. This was a total fail for me. I do know this is how you get that kind of scaly look. Did not work for me. Um, it was the first time I was trying it, but you know, you live and you learn. But I grabbed a little bit of the Mermaid Beam by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and three colors from the Metal Crush Eyeshadows by Kat Von D. And I'm just kind of rotating those between those products and then I just grabbed a little bit of glitter and I'm just going to apply that on top after. This is one of the glitters that I use. I just use purple, ivory, and blue. I kind of, that was the theme that I was kind of going for. And this is me just packing on a bunch of that mermaid beam color. This was the first glitter, Wendy by Shop Violet Voss, Piper by Shop Violet Voss, and Cancer from Lime Crime. Those are the three that I use. And then I'm just popping on Ice Queen Lashes by House of Lashes. They're like glittery lashes, they're perfect for this look, so that's what I wanted to use. And then I just use a little bit of the Starlight Highlighter by Anastasia. And then I'm just grabbing this shade that I'm totally obsessed with. It's called Purgatory from Black Moon Cosmetics. I'm just applying that all over my lips. And then I'm grabbing a little bit of Enigma from Melt Cosmetics, and this is just going to give me that kind of bruised skin so that it just doesn't look flat I wanted to add a little bit of dimension and I also use hot chocolate from Anastasia as well it's, it's like a brownish plum shade 
and that's just gonna give me a little bit of bruising and kind of make it look like there is like redness inside like exposed skin and I'm just using it in the flat detailer brush that one is from morphe brushes it's not perfect by any means oh this is my first time trying it but I was happy with the way that it turned out so I decided to post it. I definitely feel like I've learned a few things in the process. So I'm going to try this look again in a few weeks. And then I'll post it, but I hope that you guys like it. I also added a little bit of that mermaid shade to the center of my lips and to my collarbones. The wig is from Uniwig. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And until my next video, bye-bye.